Hey guys, what's cracking? It is Crack Nation here. I'm coming at you guys with our week four match of the Kraken Cup, which promises to be our most difficult match yet. This is the battle for the fire division, um, where I will be taking on Monk, coach of the classic city crush. And so Monk is kind of a beast. He beat us last season. We actually brought the wrong team when we played him last season, but he's a good battler. He, he uh, He's got a 3-0 record right now. I think both of us are probably going to make playoffs. But this might be the one that determines who's the number one seed coming out of this conference or out of this division. So you know we got to make a statement, statement win here, fellas. So his team is Venusaur, Mega, Mew, Garchomp, Rotom, Heat, Mianxiao, Gardevoir, Stack, Attack, Articuno, Drapion, Tauros, Heracross, and Primarina. Don't worry, that's a lot of Pokemon, I realize. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the team that we built for him right here. So first up, we've got Gengar. Uh, so Gengar here is basically, let me just preface this, guys. We're going offense this week. I'm not a very great pure hyper offense player, but we're bringing the hyper offense heat today. Because um, I feel like my matchup's not great, but it's my my best matchup would be... Oh, sorry about that. My best matchup would just be playing hyper offensively. So this is going to be a, uh, a fast-paced match. Not a lot of switching on my part that I'm expecting. So let's go ahead and look at, take a look at it. So our first Pokemon up is Gengar. Um, Gengar is basically just here to attack things really hard his team is incredibly slow the, sl the fastest thing on his team is Tauros which speed ties Gengar uh, so if that doesn't tell you how slow this team is now that said he's got some viable very viable Scarfers in things like Garchomp, Rotom Heat, Mianxiao, Gardevoir and Drapion, Heracross, Primarina a lot of very very viable Scarfers so we need to keep that in mind but um, I don't know also his hazard clearing is kind of crappy so I, but I do feel like he might expect me to bring a uh, sticky webs. I'm not sure. Sticky webs would have been potentially very nice considering Mew, Rotom Heat. I don't know. Vikavolt kind of had a r rough matchup, to be honest, which is why I'm not bringing it. But there is a world where sticky webs would have helped me just dominate this man for sure with Gengar. So we're just going to bring Nasty Clock Gengar, try to figure out what a scarf is, and hopefully remove it as quickly as possible. I think it's going to be Scarf Me and Shop, if I'm being honest. Um, next up, we've got just the offensive Blastoise. Uh, this set is not fantastic for Mega Venusaur, obviously, but it'll hit everything else pretty hard. I considered running a, a physical set because this thing gets Zen Headbutt. Um, not a great idea. I thought decided on overall. We just wanted to stay special. It hits everything else a lot better when it's special. So we're bringing a physical Swellow. This is actually the first time I've brought the physical Swellow. Um, it's, I'm hoping to catch him a little off guard. Usually Swellow's best set is its Boom Burst set. But this Swellow set, I think, has a lot of potential here. Um, Brave Bird lets it just destroy Mega Venusaur. Uh, Facade just hits this whole team incredibly hard. The only Pokemon this isn't hitting is Stack Attack, which has a pretty mediocre matchup against me, I feel like. So I am feeling pretty good about that overall. Next up, we've got a Double Dancing Landorus. D Double Dance Landorus kind of put in work last week. That's not the reason. I was originally going to bring a Defensive Landorus this week, but we decided to run an Offensive set. Um, after a Rock Polish or a Swords Dance, this thing could just definitely tear through a team very, very efficiently and very quickly. And so we get to run some bulk. We get to run Adamant Nature. Uh, this thing's going to hit hard as a truck after a Swords Dance. It lets it break through things like Venusaur and Mew. Um, I'm definitely feeling good about this set. Next up, we've got a Aukaberry Metagross. Rotom Heat is a pretty large problem for our team here. So we, <laughs> we don't have a lot of good switch-ins to it. Like We have a switch-in in to... Um, Garchomp and kind of like a Landorus because our Landorus has some Vulcan leftovers or maybe like a Blastoise or something. We don't have a lot of switch-ins for uh, Rotom Heat because Volt Switch kind of just screws us. If we go into uh, Landorus Therian, Overheat's going to do a lot of damage to Landorus Therian, so we got to be careful about that. So we're going to run Aquaberry and Rock Slide to hopefully hit it as hard as we can. Stealth Rock Suits to just obviously be our Rocker and then Zen Headbutt Meteor Mash Stabs. It's just pretty good coverage overall for this team. I really wanted to try to fit Earthquake for something like Drapion, something like Stack Attacka. But in the end, I'm going to settle for these four moves. Ice Punch would have been nice for Garchomp. Couldn't really fit it. Also, Garchomp, if we're not running Shook, a Garchomp's going to destroy us anyways. <laughs> so, um, And finally, we've got a Dragon Dancing Necrozma. Now, I could have run this investment, I believe. I could have hit this 255 speed without being uh, a timid nature. But I decided that I didn't need... I, I There might be a world where I need to get up to 2 plus 2 speed with Necrozma to outspeed me and Xiao. And in that world, I'm actually thinking about also changing to Life Orb. In that world, I might want to let's go to Leftovers. I might need uh, some extra some extra longevity. Um, 
on Necrozma, so we, I'm just going to run leftovers, uh, get some extra health here and there. It might be worth running um, even a Culber Berry, but no, I'm just going to run leftovers. Uh, and so gain some health back. Might need. There's a good chance we're going to need to set up to plus two, plus two, in which case we'd rather have the bulk than the extra power, and that, that way we're going to be able to outspeed Mian Shao. So that's the logic there. So now if he's not Scarf Mian Shao, I don't know. Scarf Mian Shao feels really good into me. It's like his like backup safety valve for a lot of Pokemon. Um, if he's not, Leftovers is still going to be fine. Might let us get up a second Dragon Dance or something as well. Anyways, so let's go ahead and send the challenge here. And let's import this into the calc real quick. So definitely playing some offense here. Oh, this is the wrong person. This is the wrong person. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, Mentality W. Wow, so I wish I went Life Orb now. Because really weird team. No, Gengar could potentially go off here, guys. Alrighty, so no. Rotom Heat did come, though. No Mian Shao, no Gardo. Two of his likely Scarfers are gone, which makes me believe it's Scarf Prim. Which we don't really hit with Blastoise, unfortunately. Articuno we hit very hard with a lot of our team. That's an interesting ring. No Drapion's good. No Tauros. No Heracross. All right. So I feel pretty good about the Pokemon he brought. Um, all righty. So I'm thinking his lead of choice is either Venusaur or Rotom, I think. Or maybe Ro Venusaur, Rotom, or Garchomp. Maybe Mew. He leads Venusaur. Hmm. This is uh this is gonna be tricky. I don't know what his lead is here, and lead, because I'm playing offense, my lead. <sighs> See, I don't have a great lead. Maybe just Metagross. How much does Metagross take from like Scarf, Rotom, Heat? Uh, it, it does a lot. Rock Slide doesn't kill back, unfortunately. Um, it's a good chance these boots also. I think just leading Gengar might be a play. Um, okay, so uh, we gotta really we gotta really dissect what we think his lead is here. Um, so let's think about this. Garchomp is his rocker, baby Mew, but probably Garchomp. 
and he sees my team rocks are mildly useful, although I have a spinner, but rocks are useful. Um, Venusaur, I don't think Venusaur is his lead. I don't think Venusaur is his lead. So Rotom Heat or Garchomp is his most likely too. Both of which I could lead Landorus with. I kind of like just going into Lando to start. <laughs> Pre-Marino. See, that's that's what I was afraid of right there. <laughs> this is a scary, scary day. day. <laughs> I was not expecting Prim lead. Um, <sighs> kind of just expecting the energy ball here. Oh, he's probably let's calc that let's just get a quick calc on that it's important to know um and pre-marina skull did a lot so i'm thinking he's like an offensive set Oh, interesting. He's probably... He's probably Specs. That's good for me, actually. I don't have a switch in. But it means Lando outseeds, and he's basically got to be Scarf Chomp or Scarf Rotom. Um... Just going to Mega here. Click the Scald. No burn is a rip. I guess there was a world where I could have gone Metagross there anyways. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate. I'm going to get up my rocks either way. Burn would have been nice. I think he's going to go into Chomp here. Because my lead matchup was wrong. I'm playing offense on a back foot, which is not good. I'm just gonna click the Meteor Mash. Um, how bad would like a Dragon Dance Mew be for me? I don't think that bad. As long as I hit here. All right, so do I sack this? Fire punch? Yeah, I'm just going to sack. Probably better to click Zen Head. Uh, and then Swellow. Fire off quick attack. Get my burn up. <laughs> so he's boots there. Facade does a lot. We're going to find out a little bit about his set by clicking U-turn here. So he's a max defensive. Okay. Okay. 
how much does my Gengar do it, start doing to this thing? Oh wait, no. Um, Articuno. So Swellow did. Let's just double check that because I don't. I don't think I was careful enough. Um, Crit U-turn did twenty-one. So he was a. So he's actually a Spadef. Okay, he's Spadef. Good to know. Um. Or at least he's not. He's not. He's HP probably, but not d much defense investment. So. How much does my Necrozma take if it comes in here? A decent amount. I kind of want to get Necrozma in for free. I think the play is just Gengar. Bit of a high roll there. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's a high roll. I'm going to click the Shadow Ball, I think. No, actually, I'm going to Nasty Plot. Um, I'm weirdly close to winning with uh, Landorus already. Um, no, I'm going to Nasty Plot here. Should have shadow balled, I guess. So he's he's actually scarf. Okay, that's good for us to know. I'm sorry, he's leftover. He's not scarf. <clears throat> I'm gonna click shadow ball here. Garchomp's down. And now I can click Sludge Bomb every single turn. Um, So now, this can't really do that much to me. All right, so I'm gonna click the Dragon Dance here. And he gets up a Roost. And we're gonna click one more. Um, all we have to click to win this game is Photon Geyser. So we just have to get to the point where Necrozma Can one hit a Rotom Heat? So now we just click Photon Geyser every turn. So unless this is max defensive Rotom Heat, in which case I should have just... Did 
I should be dead. Let's go. <clears throat> wow, let's go. <laughs> Luna! Sorry, guys, that was my dog. Barking at the world. So I might go into Lando to secure Diff, because the differential in this playoffs race is looking like it might matter. There's nothing he can do. I'm just going to Swords Dance. Um. And now I'm just going to Earthquake here. And that's game. <laughs> Alright, we secured a 401 monk. Whew, feels good. Necrozma leftover switch on Necrozma worked out pretty darn well. Although Life Orb might have been the same in the grand scheme of things because we wouldn't have needed to drag in as a second dime. I don't know. Team worked out really well. No Scarfer kind of screwed him, I think. And the Scarfers were the one that was scaring him. I guess that Rotom might have been Scarf, but alrighty. Anyways, good game to Monk. Scary team to prep for. I feel like I prepared really well for that. Offense worked out in the end. So the offensive, the, the quick attack change on a Swellow ended up being clutch. I think the Necrozma could have uh, t taken one and killed, or, and maybe Mew as well, though. Sorry, maybe a Blastoise as well, if that Mew hadn't died, but... So I had I had more outs, but I switched to Swallow. I had reversal there for Stack Attacker for a while, and I switched to Quick Attack because because of all the Scarfers I was afraid of. I didn't really bring any of them, which worked out, but it still ended up being useful, which is awesome. Anyways, until next time, I will see you guys later. We're 4-0, baby. Kraken Nation out.